Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. My day is going pretty darn well, if you ask me. So, we are back here on the server, and as you guys know, last episode, I kind of talked about moving. Now, um, I don't know if I showed you guys, I can't remember if I showed you guys, it's been a, it's, it's been a day. Not gonna lie, it's, it's been a day uh, since... Uh, since I recorded that last video, and so I don't remember exactly if I showed you guys where I was thinking. But uh, let's hop on the key here, and I want to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking. So, you know, we, we could make it to where this base is our PvP base. We could very easily uh, defend this location. You know, people can't really come up from the, the lower ledge. We've got metal spikes around. Uh, I could replace all the pillars with metal pillars. That way we couldn't, uh, we wouldn't risk any any falling or anything like that. But that would be all. We turn everything else to stone. Uh, people could come in and raid the place, and we've got plant species X up, and we've got dinos over here. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that we could do over here in this location. So you know, that's that's an option. I'm not saying that is the only option, but I am saying that that is a option. And uh, so as we head over here, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the videos lately. There's been a lot of stuff going on with YouTube right now. Um, and I think uh, like views and stuff like that are, are a little wonky or maybe people aren't watching as much. So those of you guys that are, I want to say thank you very much because um, it definitely helps. It definitely, definitely helps. Especially when you guys hit that like button and whatnot. Um, you know, it definitely means a lot to me. I know that much. So... Right over here is a pretty awesome area. Uh, I went on my sub server the other night and uh, we came over here and we cleared this area out except for a few locations and I'll show you where those locations are that we didn't clear. So see this guy right here? We did not clear out that. Um, we did not clear out this one right over here either. There's like these, these rock formations that we kind of have all around. So we left those but the, the paths that are around here are absolutely phenomenal and I love them. I love seeing them. I think it's great uh, and I think it definitely could be something that we could turn into a pretty dang awesome base if you ask me. So with that said, I'm kind of thinking that that's the way we're going to lean. Now, um, I'm not saying I'm going to tear my base down, but we could turn it into a PvP base like I said. Uh, and so, yeah, there is that. Now, I also, I was kind of considering like taking over part of this river and that that could be something. Uh, it could also be something kind of mean because, you know, if you look, if we kind of get a, a nice overview, this is the only way to walk a big dino through here. Because if you come right over here, like, you could get a decently sized dino through here, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be easy. You know, you'd have to take down a bunch of trees and stuff like that. So, um, and no boat, I think, is going to be able to get up this far in the river. I, I could be 100% wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking that no boat is going to be able to make this. So I'm not too worried about boats. But it would be the large dinos. So I'm thinking maybe I come all the way to here. Uh, this is where we'll kind of we'll loop it this way. And we'll have it just follow the river's edge. I want to make sure, you know, that uh, maybe a Bronto could walk through. And then we'll come all the way down. Probably to about this little island. We might encompass a little bit of this little island. And then we'll come up all the way up over to here. Right up until this ledge, okay? So we've got kind of a nice perimeter kind of built in and everything. And then up here, we, we'll probably clear out a, a bunch of this space and a lot of the trees and everything. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of clear out some rocks and stuff. We might use, you know, part of this flat hill. Uh, maybe part of this flat hill. Um, and there's, you know, we've got a lot of building space. So I think what it is time to do is I'm probably going to go and grab my uh, my mammoth, my dodecurus, my beaver, and probably my uh, megaloceros. And we're going to probably get to work doing some clearing. So if you guys like this video, please, like I said, it, it helps out a lot. Please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And there's an alpha. Um, I could try and take him out right here. But this bird is not very strong. So it might take a little bit more than uh, what this is going to do. So this this could take me a little while to get this alpha down. Alright guys, I've got all my dinos down here. And I think it is just about time to maybe start doing some crazy stuff. Now, 
One thing I gotta watch is we've got vision over here. I wanna watch it and I wanna make sure I don't destroy any of the rocks associated with this. Um, as you guys can see, like this this particular rock's pretty big, but I think this one uh, this one is definitely connected. So we don't wanna destroy this one. Uh, we don't wanna destroy that one, but we can get rid of this one, this one, if we want to. Uh, we can get rid of those, uh, and then over on the other side, you know, there's quite a few that we can get rid of over there. But we could also go ahead and start placing some of these foundations, and I think that could be kind of nice too, real quick. So like I said, I'm going to start uh, kind of down here, and I'm thinking probably right about here. So if I go ahead and I grab this, I've got, like I said, these are, these are pretty big, so uh, we can kind of come down here uh, as long as... Oh, you know what? That might actually be like a really good spot. Let me try and rotate here a little bit. Just kind of like that. Um, yeah, that's that's not bad. What do you guys think? I think that could be pretty good. Um, thinking probably a little bit further out. Well, no, not that far. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that's where it's going to go. All right. So there's that one. Uh, it is set. Now there is a little bit of room underneath that, but that's not a big deal. You know, we can handle that. But up here, like that is, that pretty much closes that in. So there's not really a big chance that anything is going to get in there. But uh, yeah, let's place another one here real quick. Let's see, six. And then kind of in the ground there a little bit. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's shift here just ever so slightly. Kind of kind of want to line this up as best as possible. I think that is a good one. Let's put those guys back. I d accidentally J instead of K. All right. Swim, little Megalocero. Swim. Okay. So we got a couple of those. It is. It gets a little tight in there, but it's all right. Um... Okay, so the next one here, we've got six. Come back. Uh, kind of. Where did it go? Just like that. Kind of make sure it's all the way up there. I want to turn it back this way. Uh, definitely back a little bit more. So, yeah, that's kind of how I think I'd want it to be. Um, maybe even just a little bit more there and then make sure they're connected. Yeah, that one's... I, I like that. I like that one a lot, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this out. Uh, we definitely are going to use these big gates. Um, it will leave us quite a bit of room in here. So, like, we can take all of that out. Uh, and then we'll have room kind of in here. We can have a bunch of dino storage and everything. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to place these and then I'll come back when we're ready to start demolition. All right, guys, I've got my crew here. I've got Mantis, the Megaloceros, Colossus, and Juggernaut all ready to go. I have actually been clearing out just a little bit of stuff around here as well. Uh, just kind of prepping a little bit. I've cleared out like a lot of this corner over here and everything. Um... If we come over here and take a look, yeah, there was like some big rocks over here and whatnot. And so I just kind of cleared out this cove. I wanted to see how far back it went. It actually goes pretty far. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put in some of the doors around here uh, just to start the prevention of dinos coming into the base. Uh, it shouldn't be anything too crazy, but all these doors are, are huge, right? So they are definitely going to be just fine when it comes to defending our base. Now, uh, I came over to about here, and then I turned immediately and came up because I wanted this to cut through. If I was going to continue one more length, the gate would have went down right here in the middle, and it would have been a little weird. So I went ahead and just... Uh, <laughs> just cut it in back there and then I'm gonna come up uh, I need to come up here and take out a lot of the rocks up here and whatnot and so I also I just kind of gotta get a lot of this area cleared out the where I can see kind of how it develops so I'm gonna get some work done I'm gonna I'm gonna be clearing some stuff out gonna be making some more gates and everything and I'll bring you guys back when we're uh, a little bit further along in the project 
all right guys welcome back we are here and i've been busy i've been really busy kind of doing kind of a lot of stuff around the base uh just got done having a little conversation with zuljin about everything that we uh, uh that i have going on over here and he's like you know this place would make a great arena spot and i was like dang it you know what it would but you know it's cool I i'm probably gonna stick with it because it is it is a very very cool place but uh yeah what we got going on over here I'll kind of show you guys is you can see the walls go all the way around and then I'm gonna have another wall probably right about here uh, gonna go ahead and connect into that uh, I've got the spiked walls all the way up on the top over there along that ledge I've got a couple of doors kind of blocking this area off now this area I might open up in the future and have go into another part of the base depending on if we need expansion or not but for right now, it's just basically a block. Uh, I was going to put another gate in right there, but I'll probably do one of the smaller gates, like just a regular stone gate or something, uh, because it just didn't quite fit the way that I wanted it to. But yeah, besides that, uh, we have uh, all of that going on, so that is awesome. Oh, wait, no, no, don't give me those. I uh, want to go ahead and grab all of the wood as I can off of there. And then... There we go. We have access to that saddle structure stone and we just need some wood. So that means I usually will take this off. Uh, let's just drop that and then we can put a lot of that on and put that on. And uh, yeah, we can craft a couple of these and then I'll probably be able to craft a couple of those here in a second as well. Uh, wooden wall structures. Take those, put those away, put those away. And then... Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be short on a little bit of everything, too. And that's one of the bad things here. Um, I, I've been going through a ton of materials. Like, everything that I've been collecting has been uh, gone, like, near instantly. So it's it's kind of cool to be in an area that is so incredibly rich with materials. I've never, like, even in my season um, season two bases, even out in the snow biome and then... Uh, when I moved to the valley, even the valley wasn't that rich in, like, stone and stuff like that. But this area is just popping with stone and everything else. And it's all respawning. Like, you look at that, it's respawning. Anything right around the gates is respawning. So I was like, that is pretty cool. You know, we've we've torn out a lot of these gates or a lot of the materials around this gate. Especially down here, and uh, now it's it's back, and you know what? That is awesome. I love to see the natural formations come back, and I love to see that I will be able to take advantage of those materials uh, once again. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm going to keep working here a little bit. I'm going to try and at least get the wall done today, and then once I get the wall done, uh, we might try and build a little bit of a shelter to kind of start off with. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of finish up from there. But we've got water over here. Um, it, we're not that high off the water table. So depending on where I build the actual structure of my house, uh, we should be able to get water very, very easily. Um, and short of that, that's really all we would need around here is water. As far as food is concerned, you know, all of that can go elsewhere. But this was kind of one of the reasons why I left this little spot the way I did. Because I just come over here and get some water. But, uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to finish up the walls, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. All right, guys, well, I think that I have pretty much the entire perimeter con um, not, uh, secure is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I was going to say contained, but concern or uh, secured was the word I was looking for. But, yeah, I've got uh, all the spikes up there. It's kind of, you know, all protected off. Uh, there's still a few bad dinos that spawn in here, and it's, it, you know, it's such a big area that uh, it's just basically going to work that way. And I even think the compies, like this little guy right here, let's see how, what level this guy is. Oh, 68, yeah, he's okay, but he's not quite high enough. Uh, there are very few uh, low spots in our wall, and I even think this rock right here has blocked one of our low spots. I, I had one... Kind of right in there. There's another one right here that uh, I can block off with probably just a railing or something. But yeah, that's not bad. I really like it. Uh, and then everything's kind of protected around there. Nothing can get in, hopefully. And uh, we, we should be pretty well set. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a temporary structure over here. And uh, I think this could be pretty nice to be able to use for us. So take out that rock there, and then we're going to go ahead and place this.
kind of in here a little bit. I uh, want that to be, yeah, right about there. Let's go ahead and pick this, uh, this plant. Oh, is this not an actual plant? No, I guess it's not. All right. So we'll go ahead and I should even, yeah, be able to connect it right there. That is awesome that uh, we can connect this all the way around like I, like I wanted to. All right, so there's the start. That is, oh, I'm so excited about this. I really am. Like I'm, I'm legitimately excited about this uh, this new build. You know, and that's one thing I, I gotta tell you guys. I love building an arc. I have so much fun with building an arc. It is it is definitely a blast. It is one of the f most favorite things that I have about this game. Like, the taming the dinosaurs and stuff like that is is cool and all. And some of the dinos are definitely cooler than others. But the the building is what gets me. It's what gets me excited. It's I, I really thoroughly enjoy it. So, um, you know, I, I'm really I am I am very sorry if it, if it's not something that you guys dig, uh, but it is something that is going to be uh, kind of a I'd almost say a staple on our channel for for a good little while here. Uh, but yeah, we can even throw a door on there. Uh, this this one's not gonna be anything fancy. This is just gonna be kind of a nice little storage spot uh, that we can kind of you know hide out our stuff in um, and, and have it protected. So I've even got a few of these. Um, I am am gonna be operating out of two bases for a good little while here. So uh, don't expect all of this to get done in one day. Uh, we'll probably be you know going back and forth. Uh, even, um, you know, taming some stuff in between episodes and we're just going to be slowly prepping this area. So don't uh, don't think that this is going to happen really, really quick. Uh, I was actually really surprised that I got as much as I have gotten done today. Um, I made a lot of the stuff and then even a lot of the, uh, the the rocks around here when I was clearing stuff out, you know, that made it even easier to uh to kind of get into this so it was it was awesome um but yeah let me know kind of what you guys want to see with this thing if you have any any ideas that kind of are off the cuff a little bit i, I would like to hear them uh i definitely like like i said i'm definitely enjoying building and so any kind of ideas that you guys have is definitely something i'm interested in uh i was definitely thinking about doing a lot of open builds, uh, a lot of open kind of air, open air builds, um, you know, gazebos, stuff like that, you know, what have you. And then even having a bunch of little buildings here and there, like we'll have a spot that we can breed our dinos. We'll have a spot that incubates our dinos and all that. And it, it should work out pretty well for us. So I think we're going to need uh, th six of these. Let's clear that. That was tough. I, I just coughed there on accident. Um, one, two, three. That. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't even know how many I have. One, two, th three. And then with those, I just need one more of the sloped. No biggie. Grab that. Grab this. And then we should be able to just put the rest of this stuff away. All right. Well, and now we come up into here, and then we can do this number. Oh, wait, this number. There we go. Eight. Eight. Boom. There we go. That is definitely the start of a, a really really nice little area here so i'm going to uh that is actually going to be where we wrap it up today guys so i hope that you enjoyed today's episode of arc survival evolved enjoyed seeing the building process of the start of the base i know i'm looking forward to it and i hope you guys are too all right guys my name is drax have a good one. Oh, not that button this button get out here hi